pretty new on the market. It's the Wii G17. Uh, great gun, great quality, but uh, let's just get past the basics and get right into this gun. We'll go ahead and avoid the box review that everyone hates. Uh, this one, I've gone ahead and customized it just a little bit. Uh, if you can see the trades, uh, we're going to do some close-ups too. I've already winded them in so you can see what the trades look like. This is a very good example of a full-size Glock. Very well made, very well designed. Full metal slide, polymer frame. This way you're not dealing with those HFC guns that have the plastic slide that just feel like they're going to fall apart when you shoot them. So let's go ahead and get it on the bench and we can show you more detail about it. All right, so here's the Wii G17. Just to show you a little bit more uh, detail on it. I've gone ahead and whited out the trades. Um, this gives you a better idea of what you can see. It's not the actual Glock logo, but it gives you an idea that re closely represents it. Uh, it gives a really nice look. Now, if you look in the pistol grip, I don't know how close you can see that. It does have the Wii logo stamped instead of the Glock logo. Nonetheless, it's still a nice looking gun. Now, if you look on the back side, there are some more traits here. And it does feature the rail on the lower half of the, or on the front end of the frame. This is basically making it the Generation 3 Glock. Um, Go ahead and pull the slide back and lock it. it. Gives you the realistic action so you can see how the slide functions. Kicks back really nicely. Mag, it's got a good size, very similar to what it looks like in the KJW or the KSE. We pull it back, locks back perfectly. Another nice feature is the sights, if we can zoom in on them so you can see them. It's not the standard three dot, it's more like the original. It's got the U and then the dot in front. So it gives you something a little bit different rather than the standard 3 dot you see on most Glocks. Now with this gun, um, it does come with a threaded tip that you can use for putting a silencer on, a random flash hider. A lot of people like to do random things. I prefer to remove it. So easy way to remove it, you take a M4 or any other flash hider, tighten it on. Now if it hasn't been done before, at this point, when you get it snug down, you are going to have to use a pair of pliers and just pop it uh, because there is a little bit of glue there. But once you've tightened it down, you continue trying to tighten it down, and it'll just pull it right out because it is threaded. Thus keeping your orange flash hider intact and giving you the nice original Glock look. So it, what we want to do now, we're going to go ahead and do a quick teardown. Show you the basic field strip. First thing you want to do, pull the mag. Then you'll have these pull down tabs on either side. Just pull them, there you go, tears down. Uh, really easy to do for maintenance, for lubing up your slide rails, checking the springs. Um, further tear down is really easy as well. Pull out the, the recoil rod and the spring, and then you just take out the barrel assembly. It slides right out. Now if we can zoom in on this, you can see the hop-up adjustment is right here. It's a little toothed wheel. Um, not the easiest thing if you're going to be adjusting your hop-up, but again, as I said before, pistols are for CQB play. Don't expect them to be perfect accuracy. Alright, now that we've shown you how the teardown is and how it basically looks, we're going to go and throw it back together, and we're going to get it down and show you what it does on the FPS, uh, so we can get you an accurate idea of what kind of FPS you can expect out of it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get this down in the range, uh, but before I do that, I want to show you how the loading of this goes. I'm going to grab our mag and a speed loader. Very simple, just like pretty much any other gun. Speed loader on and couldn't be simpler. Now you could do it by hand, but really, what's the point? It just—it's so much faster with the speed loader, so cheap. So that's the best bet. Now what we're gonna do—we're gonna go ahead and go down to our range, put the put it through the chronograph to get you a proper FPS rating, and we're also gonna shoot some uh, BBs down range so you can get an idea of the proper grouping. All right, so here we're going to do our FPS test. And you can see the chronograph's already set up, and we've put some rounds down it. So let's go ahead and try it again. Maybe a racking should be a good idea.
All right, it's full round. Uh, pretty accurate. Keeps a really tight grouping. One little stray, but not too bad. Uh, I'd say pretty accurate gun right out of the box. Ten feet, not not too bad at all. All right, so now that we've gotten a proper FPS, it was averaging right around 280 if you take that 290 to 270 gap. So it's going to give you a really good good fire range, great for CQB. Had a really tight grouping, shot really well at 10 feet. I'm sure I could have shot further for you, but in all honesty, we didn't really need to. Now, one thing you didn't get to see is the actual action of the slide while it was firing. So what I'm going to do now, I've got it loaded with gas only. There's no BBs. Uh, I'm going to hold the slide lock down so you can see the action of the gun moving. So I'm just going to step aside so you can get a good background on it. We'll rack it once. So you can see it has a good, good action. Now, if you're out of ammo, it is going to lock back just like a standard gun should. So it gives a really good feel to it. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and give the gun a 9 out of 10. Uh, my only, only thing I didn't like was the safety on the bottom here that looks like a serial number. Sometimes it's a little loose. It can slide back and forth. But other than that, the appearance, the texture, the quality, everything about it is great. Like I said, 9 out of 10. Great gun to buy. Well worth the price. You can find it. Uh, we found this one over at Airsplat for $99.99. Great price. Um, and just check them out. I'm sure they're going to have sales on it sooner or later. Um, but I'm the Airsoft Guru, Dean Donovan. Remember, Airsoft is not a crime. Play hard and keep it safe.